Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 smartest improvised horror movie weapons. I made you something. Oh, no, that's the second half I ever burned. Stop! Stoning people who piss you off is perfectly okay. They do it in the Bible, don't they? And I got lots of peas. For this list, we're looking at horror films that weaponized random objects or saw characters embrace the DIY mentality to dangerous effect. While these items are not necessarily the craziest or weirdest, they are certainly clever. Which is the most unusual weapon ever used in a horror movie? Let us know in the comments. Now let the improvisation begin. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Jackhammer Steak, from dusk till dawn. <laughs> when Seth and Richie committed a robbery and set out for El Rey, they likely expected to meet some resistance along the way. However, not even Nostradamus could have foreseen the madness that awaits them at the Titty Twister Strip Club. Suddenly, from dusk till dawn, transitions from a gritty crime drama to a film where Seth stabs vampires the wooden stake attached to a jackhammer. Come on! Gloriously over the top, this is the type of weapon that just screams Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino. A practical and cartoonish creation, the jackhammer stake really demonstrates Seth's ability to make the best of a strange situation. I just rammed a wooden stake into my brother's chest because he turned into a vampire. Even though I don't believe in vampires. Aside from that unfortunate business, everything is hunky-dory. Number nine, Sleeping Bag. Friday the 13th, part seven, The New Blood. A veteran slasher villain, Jason Voorhees tends to fall back on his trusty machete whenever there are frolicking teenagers about. While certainly fond of tradition, Friday the 13th's killer is not above improvising if the situation calls for it. Or, you know, if a spear gun happens to be available. What are you doing? Hey, now cut that out right now. That's not funny. <laughs> In perhaps the ultimate demonstration of Jason's adaptability and creativity, however, the hulking monster finds Judy waiting in a sleeping bag and decides to experiment a bit. With the help of a tree, Jason turns Judy's sleeping bag into a coffin, and he was able to get the job done in one swing. <laughs> Number 8. Smoke Alarm. Hush. In life or death situations, even the most mundane of household appliances can make a difference. God, that is one hell of a fire alarm. Hush is an intense thriller that sees our deaf protagonist, Maddie, trying to survive against the sadistic killer, one who repeatedly underestimates his victim. Maddie experiences absolute hell throughout the movie, but she eventually turns the table on the intruder using insecticide and, most interestingly of all, a smoke alarm. <laughs> Turning the thing that made Maddie seem like an easy target on its head, the smoke alarm's flashing light and headache-inducing noise completely throws the killer off his game. Number 7. Leg Turned Firearm Planet Terror In this throwback to classic grindhouse cinema, viewers are treated to zombie-like creatures, missing reels, and an explosive prosthetic limb. While Robert Rodriguez's movie is a wild ride from start to finish, Planet Terror reaches the apex of its insanity when Cherry's missing leg is replaced with an assault rifle that also happens to be a grenade launcher. Right now, I need you to become who you're meant to be. Stand.
This weapon certainly gives Cherry a leg up in battle, but as the zombies, soldiers, and gravity soon find out, the Go-Go Dancer also proves to be a natural when it comes to wielding the unique weapon. With this inspired limb, Cherry cements herself as a hero who will be nobody's victim. Number 6. Cricket Bat – Shaun of the Dead One morning, Shaun woke up, took a stroll to the local shop, ignored the news, and then met two walking corpses in his garden. They still have that. Yeah. In most horror films, the protagonist's first full encounter with a zombie is intense. In Shaun of the Dead, this moment is intensely funny. Purple Rain. Oh, Shaun of the Time. Definitely not. The Batman soundtrack. Sorry. <laughs> After learning that vinyl records are not especially effective as weapons, Sean upgrades to a cricket bat and gets swinging. And in all cases, people receiving bites have experienced headaches and nausea and developed symptoms similar to those displayed by their attackers. The bat serves Sean well throughout the film and really feels like a perfect representation of Sean of the Dead's blend of humor and bloody violence. It's also like the ultimate British weapon. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! Number 5. Lawnmower. Dead Alive, a.k.a. Brain Dead. Party's over. There will be blood, guts, and severed heads, also known as Brain Dead. Peter Jackson's Dead Alive is a pitch-black horror comedy about a rat monkey, an overbearing mother, and young love. Though deprived of his father at an early age, was blessed with an abundance of mother love. <laughs> the movie is also unapologetically gory, a fact illustrated splendidly by a sequence involving zombified guests and a lawnmower. Lionel mows down the recently turned humans in an epic bloodbath that makes the ending of Carrie seem quaint. Carrying the lawnmower so it can be used as a makeshift blender, Lionel creates a beautiful symphony of destruction, a chaotic masterpiece of mayhem and carnage. Number 4. Cotton – Get Out When Chris finds himself strapped to a chair at the mercy of a hypnotist from a twisted family, weapons are in short supply. Facing a future in which his mind is trapped inside a void, Chris burrows into the chair and pulls out some cotton from the armrest. This item proves to be a game changer, as Chris sticks the cotton into his ear to drown out the audible trigger that would put him to sleep. Although not a weapon of the smacking villains on the head mold, the cotton is used for self-defense and also cleverly ties into Get Out's racial themes. Number 3. Chainsaw Arm – Evil Dead 2 While Ash Williams was great long before the final act of Evil Dead 2, he needed just one final ingredient to become a bona fide legend. In an ironic turn of events, the chainsaw Ash used to cut off his possessed right hand would come to replace that missing limb. Brought to life in a great sequence that culminates in an iconic quote, Ash demonstrates his quick thinking and strength of character, transforming the Deadites' earlier victory into a tool with which to destroy them. Alongside the boomstick, Ash would keep the chainsaw arm close at hand through many adventures, including a trip to the Middle Ages. Number 2. Power Loader – Aliens If a proper mecha is not available, then improvise. Ellen Ripley's badassery was cemented in 1979's Alien, but the more action-heavy sequel gave the hero even greater opportunities to shine. Yeah. 
The final battle sees the Xenomorph Queen wreaking havoc, prompting Ripley to think outside the box and adapt what is essentially a forklift into power armor. Get away from her, you bitch! Aliens had already demonstrated that Ripley could handle the machine, so the power loader's reappearance in the climax makes sense while also being plain awesome. With this futuristic forklift, Ripley evens the playing field to face off directly against the Queen. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Canned food. The mist. Because nobody ever expects a can to the face. Well, it is this kind of hubris that brought the wrath of God in the first place. This kind of pride and defiance of the... <laughs> Shut up, you miserable buzzard! Microwave. Gremlins. Because what's good enough for a midnight snack is good enough for a gremlin. <laughs> Coffee mug bong, the cabin in the woods, because this is one resourceful stoner. Hi. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Scuba Tank – Jaws There are some things even Bruce shouldn't eat. Jaws does a splendid job of building up its titular shark as an unstoppable menace that can shred through boats like paper and devour swimmers like fish food. After a harpoon fails to do the trick, Brody finds himself isolated, armed with seemingly only a rifle and facing certain doom. But then the police chief gets a bright idea. Brody force feeds the shark a scuba tank and then uses the gun to explosive effect. A triumphant moment, Brody's whole plan is intelligent, relatively believable, and just the right amount of desperate. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.